Fish, <laughs> save us. <laughs> Don't you guys pull me into this. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the weather and talk about that. Is it going to snow tomorrow? Tell us that. We might see a couple of snow. You'll get hate mail for that. <laughs> I know. That's, that's the bigger one. And, of course, we do have the possibility later on tonight going into tomorrow, but it's not here yet. And there's no guarantees that everyone sees snow tomorrow. I'll get to that in a little bit. This is Storm Team 4 Max Radar on southeast Wisconsin. Not much going on. Got the wind farm right here. Here's Columbia County. A couple sprinkles trying to make its way into Dodge County, but most of us are fine right now. But it's not here what I'm looking at. It's way off to the north. The arrowhead of Minnesota going into Canada. Snow showers and a couple sprinkles and showers. Those may pivot around as we head through the overnight into tomorrow morning. But if you would see snow, any accumulation would be minor, if anything at all. But look at this. This isn't that far away. Lake Effect Snow Advisory, Vilas County going into the UP. That starts at 7 tonight. That's not that far away. Two to four inches of snow there, not here. Here's a look at future forecasts going through the night. There goes the front with a couple of showers. There we are tomorrow morning with the chance of a shower or a couple of snow showers or flurries. The first time we've seen that on the map around here, some white and blue. That represents, of course, frozen precipitation. Not a guarantee that everyone sees it. The other big story, by the way, is we had overnight into tomorrow. The wind, get ready for the wind gust. That's uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. Here's noon. Some 40 mile per hour wind gusts. That'll get your attention. Now, today is going to be beautiful this afternoon compared to tomorrow, 54. That's what our average high should be. How did we do today? Not quite average, but still not that bad. 51 in Milwaukee. Temperatures currently 52 Waukesha, West Bend. Get a little bit closer and got Muskego at 52. Same with Pewaukee. Heading a little bit farther to the south, 53 in Salem. So our temperatures aren't bad compared to tomorrow. But remember, got a low pressure and a strong cold front that's going to be working its way through as the night goes on. Later on tonight, could see a shower. And there we go. The pivot behind it could see a rain or snow shower as tomorrow goes on. No guarantees that everyone sees snow. But look how cold it gets overnight. 34, even colder inland. A couple scattered rain or possibly a snow shower later. No guarantees on the snow. And if you would see anything tomorrow morning, wouldn't it be major? And it is going to be a very windy day, so get ready for that wind. That's going to be your bigger story as far as Friday is concerned. If you see a couple of snowflakes again, that's no trick. That is falling out of the clouds. And again, not everyone's seeing that. As we go through the weekend, still cool on Saturday, 43 degrees. Sunday gets a little bit better, but still going to be breezy in 47. Monday and Tuesday, a chance of a shower. At least it will be milder. So, Steve, Courtney, I can't wait to talk to you guys at this time tomorrow because I can't <laughs> wait to hear what you have to say. It is not going to be a nice day. <laughs> Just tell them the truth. Here. We, will we will grin and bear it. Yes, We're going to be please. smiley happy people We are hardy tomorrow. Wisconsin folk. <laughs>